Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get traditional Chinese input working with Pinyin on Windows 11. So if you have Windows 11 and you want to be able to type Pinyin and actually use the traditional character set, then this is going to be the video for you. So traditionally Pinyin, of course, is an invention from mainland China and it's designed to be used with simplified Chinese. But these days I actually prefer using Pinyin with traditional character sets. As a British born Taiwanese person, I actually find using Pinyin much simpler. So I don't have to do something like learn a brand new keyboard and I can actually type traditional characters as well. And on Windows 11, it's not absolutely that easy to figure out how to do this. So I'm just gonna show you how to do this. So on Windows 11, we go to start menu here and we type in language settings. And then we'll be going to system settings here. And then within system settings, we're gonna see our preferred languages. So what I'm gonna do is just delete this to start from scratch. And then what we're gonna do is add a language. So we're gonna type in Chinese. And you might think that if you wanted this to work, then you want to add traditional Chinese, but um, traditional Chinese doesn't have what we need. What we actually wanna do is install Simplify Chinese because that contains the opinion input. So I wanna, Select this, press next, and then you can download all of this if you want to, but really all you need is uh, the language pack. So just select this, press install, and then press next. So this should go ahead and download and install. So just wait for that for a few minutes. This language pack is now pending and it's now downloading. So once the language pack has finished installing, we can go to our language selector here. So this should be in the bottom right now. I can switch between different keyboards, English and then simplified. But by default, if I type in a word like shui, 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 it's gonna be the simplified version instead. So to fix this, all we need to do is to go to our language bar again and then click this side here. So here we've selected Chinese. If you click on this, it will actually alternate between English and Chinese. So you can also alternate between this by pressing the Windows and Space key, and that's gonna switch between them. But once we have Chinese selected, so make sure we select Chinese, we wanna go to this section here, the keyboard layout, and then go to more keyboard settings. And then we wanna go into our simplified, go to language options. So click on the three dots here, language options, and then we have our language pack is now installed. We want to change our input method editor. So click on these three dots, go to keyboard options. Then we want to go to general here. And once we're in general, what we're going to do is scroll down until we find the character set. So we've got two options here, simplify Chinese and traditional Chinese. So select this and make sure we have the full pinyin style there. And now when I type in shui, now we have the traditional version instead. So uh, it's kind of the odd combination of pinyin and traditional characters, but that's working. So if we type in ma, um, let's type in ma ma. So this is the traditional Chinese character set, but with the pinyin keyboard layout. And anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.